Hey guys, it's Mike here, and as you guys can see, I have the Vulcan out right now. Uh, it's the newest gun to our collection of me, Steve, Jake. Uh, one of my friends, Nick, is about to get a gun, so he'll be shortly getting a gun. Hopefully, we can unbox and do a review on it. So, let's talk about what we have. We have the Nerf. This is the first ever, by the way, first auto electric Nerf gun. Every gun besides the Vulcan were all pumped or spring loaded. This one is also spring loaded and electric. Um, basically, if we look here in the back, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, over here, we have a whole bunch of little uh, details. On the bottom here, we have a couple of uh, other guns and basically the gun itself. So, there it is. Uh, so right now I guess I'm going to show you the gun and a couple of details. So, let's get to it. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, this is the actual gun itself, the Vulcan. It has a rail here on the top and on the other side. You guys can put the tactical light or scopes on them, it's up to you. Uh, this gun, as I said before, is a bolt action right here, as you guys can see. So, you just push it back, like that, and it's cocked. Fire. Uh, that's basically the gun. Two, and right down here is the bolts. It counts 25, right there. This one right here is, a, this is not an actual, uh, bullet holder. It actually goes right here in the front, like so. That, you close it on, you cock it back, and this comes out. And then you fire, you cock, and as you guys can see, once you shoot it, uh, dark goes out, and then this comes out. And it keeps doing that till you're out of bullets and so forth. So, that's it. Now back here, you got this part right here and here that's a holder for a uh, one of these. Uh, I guess you could call a sling, a slinglet for now and it does help because the gun is very heavy. You can see this the handle. Uh, it's a very heavy gun personally and I feel that mm, I would say that with with this, it does help and support the gun on your shoulders. And then, you, of course, you got your bipod right here. Like I said in the video when I opened the box, when I first opened it, when you push this back, it sounds like you broke it, but you didn't. Like that. And this right here is the box in which we, well, it holds all the ammo. And that goes on this side where that hole is. Now, like I said before, this is a auto, uh, semi-auto and auto gun. As I just showed you, push this back right here. Just like every North gun, just shoots one at a time. Then, if you push this thing up, look closely, the switch says on and off. Right now it's on off. Turn it on, close the lid, and fire. Like I said, as it shoots, this is where the gun, these are all bullets, and this is the ammo coming out as when the gun shoots. Now what's interesting about this gun is once it's done firing, the gun stops shooting electric. See, I'm pulling the trigger, no sounds. But put the gun in, lock it, uh, hold on, like that, then lock it, see, the gun understands when there's a chain in and there's not, so, it's, it's an actual gun that is pretty easy, I turn it off to save battery, the, the gun itself holds th uh, 6D batteries, and it's, with the, without it, is very light, and you can still use the gun just semi-auto with the auto cocker, the co uh, 
like that. But it does help with the electric. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I would definitely recommend this to any kid who isn't really good at shooting fast with an auto cocker. Uh, so right now I'm pretty much going to do a demo of the gun and how it shoots, and then we'll come to the conclusion of the gun, alright? So, let's get to the shooting. Alright guys, as you guys can see, I just have the gun right over there, and I'm going to do a testing, as I said before, of how it shoots. Now I'll test out the darts and see overall where it shoots, and I can't measure it right now, but we will eventually. Um, as you guys can see, there are darts in there. Hope you guys can see that. And closely you can see the orange. Uh, quick note. Um, these darts that the Nerf, the re this gun uses, is different than the other recons like Steve, CS6, and now Jake's long strike. So, be careful with the darts you use in both guns because these can get stuck in the guns and you'll be st having a little problem. So, let's get to it. Uh, as you guys can see, I have the box right here. I'm just going to load it up. Should I do it the right way? Well, like I said before, just turn it on. Uh, just cock it. And fire away. So, and this is the conclusion, it took about 5 seconds for 25 darts. It's about 3 darts per second. So, do the math pretty much. So, right now I'm going to just take you to where the darts were. So from one end of the from one end of my basement to the other side, this is the results. The darts are all over here. They did not hit the wall, unfortunately, but it still got a good range. I'll show you, this is what the the dart. My gun only uses these kind of darts, which I don't know why. If you guys can see closely, there's a little hole there, and it actually whistles when it shoots. So that's kind of cool. And so, now I'm going to just do an overall conclusion of the gun. Um, I love the gun. It's really good for about my age and I'm 15 because it's not it's heavy, it's not for a kid like who's 7 or as it says like uh, about I don't know, it says like um 8 and ages 8 and up. This gun is very heavy and if they drop it on their toes or their feet or anything they will cry, and then there will be that will be a problem for Nerf. But for my age, it's a good gun. Only concern I have about it is it doesn't shoot that far, and it's very loud, as you guys could guess. Um, that's about it. Uh, eventually, maybe I might do a mod and see if I could make it go a little bit farther and faster, which I've seen before with the car batteries and RC batteries and all that stuff. So that's it. Overall, I would give this about a four, five stars, uh, mainly because it's an electric, and this gun will shoot twice as fast as a semi-auto gun like the CS6 Recon or the Long Strike. Um, like I said before, we're only I'm mainly doing this with my friends and buying all these Nerf guns because we want to do a video, and the Nerf guns are pretty fun to have and make a video for. And then overall, later on, we might have Nerf gun fights or whatever. So that's pretty much it. Uh, four out of five stars overall. Just concerns about it is it's a little heavy for a kid, and it shoots pretty slow, and it doesn't shoot that far, and the accuracy is not that well. But like again, it is a Nerf gun. It's not an airsoft or paintball gun, so you and it's mainly made for kids, so it's not supposed to be that accurate. So. That's about it, guys. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe to me, and catch you guys later. Peace.